Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use Google Fit app. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. In this case, uh, for you to start using the Google Fit app here, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the app at the latest version. Let's go and open up Google Play Store here. Look for Google Fit app here. In this case, if you see any update button, go ahead and click on it to install the latest update. But in this case, if you see open, go ahead and click on open because you now have the latest update. Now from here, there are a few things I need to uh, see or remember here. So first, you see we have their homepage. The homepage actually contains uh, all the details that you need here. That includes your daily goals, your weekly goals here, as well as the calories, miles, and move per minute that you have here. You also have your profile at the top right, so if you want to change that, you can go ahead and click on it and change your account. Now again, you should be able to see different details about yourself, like for example, energy expended here, your uh, so how much uh, speed you need. So in this case, all the details that you might want to know here. So in this case, if you want to add a, an activity here, you can go and click on the plus button at the bottom right here. And just basically add like blood pressure, add your weight, activity, or even add your workout. If you click one of them, you have the option to add the details it for it. So, for example, the title, what type of activity, the start, duration, intensity, distance, energy expended, and steps for it. So, if you've done or added all the details, you just click on save at the top right to save your changes. Now, we also have the journal section here, which includes the recent activity that you did on your account. So, that includes your paced walk, your sleep, or any, acti any other activity here. Or if you recorded your weight or your height in the section, you should be able to see it in here as well. Now, if you click on browse here, you have the option to basically browse some certain uh, aspects on the app itself, like activity you had, body measurements, vitals, nutrition, sleep, or even cycle tracking here. Now, if you click on the body measurements here, you have the option to change your body measurements. That includes your weight, your body fat, your height. So if you want to add a new one, just click on plus here and you can basically add a new height, body fat, or even weight. Now, depending on what you select here, you should be able to basically uh, do uh, change a few things like vitals or even add vitals here if you want to. So if you click on the plus button, you have the option to add heart rate, blood pressure, and a lot of, a lot of those details. Now, if you click on the profile button at the bottom right here, you have the option to add your goals, your bedtime schedule, and some information about yourself, like your weight, your height, your gender, and even your birthday. So the details that you have here generally affects the information that you actually see here in the homepage. So what are your goals and what are your targets here? But yeah, so in this case, those are the basics here that you need to know for you to start using Google Fit here, but that's about it. So, hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.